she's okay. She's side eyeing me. She's not. She's not happy. Doesn't that feel good though? You haven't had a scratch like that in a long time. You're so cute. He's not gonna save you from this. I'm oh, sorry. Adorable. We need to get it done. Oh, she's gonna do the swim thing. Can can we video the swim thing when you're finished? I don't That's know. so cute. I don't think she's swimming. She she did do the swim thing. Oh, oh look, she did the oh, swim thing. Oh, you want to go swimming? I love the swim thing. Oh, oh. pumpkin. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Let me put you down. You have a bath. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Hello. What are you doing? Hello. Oh, pumpkin. It's okay. It's okay. She's very nervous. It's okay. Hello. She's not putting her foot down. No, she's quite badly mattered, the poor little love. Has she got a sore foot? Uh, she could, she's got prickles. I can feel some prickles. She might. Her matting is very severe. Hello. Oh, you poor little bugger. It's okay, honey. Oh, hang on. Say hello and do your intro and, yeah. and then show us what's... Hello my beautiful fur family. I want to do this with excitement but I think we just need to be calm and cool and collected for this little lady. And I, being an empathetic person, I'm feeling all of her emotions. Like she's very fearful and that makes me really sad because I just, I get so upset when I have dogs that are just terrified for no reason at all. So don't mind me being a bit sad for her. We're just going to be all calm and cool and collected and get her cleaned up. Um, her matting at face value doesn't look that severe, um, but I think as we move through this, we're going to find actually that it's really quite severe, especially on her legs um, and her sanitary areas and tummy. I've never groomed this dog before. I'm not sure how difficult this is going to be. Um, just going by her behaviour, I, I think that she will bite if um, she thinks that's the only way to get out of something. So I'm going to muzzle her and just see how we go. Um, yeah, we'll just get in and get all this coat off for her. She's obviously very frightened, the poor little love. I'm going to pet her. No, you're not. Just yes, leave I it. Am. Okay, please, at the minute. It's going to be a little, little Just leave it be. Thing. Hello. All right, and that's it. And that's the only it. reason I say that is because it's not her job to make you feel better. Yeah, I know. I know. What do you mean it's not her job to make it's me It's not her, her, because you want to pat her so that you feel good. Why and else do you get puppy dogs and dogs throughout life? I know, but she's not yours. She's and, not mine, and it's right. not... Okay, that one's too big. Sorry. You got your snout. And I've, I've got hair everywhere from all the... I've done so many D-sheds this week, I can't get rid of the hair. It's just falling out of the sky. Come here, darling. It's okay. Good girl. So what's this puppy dog's name? Oh, Bella. Bella? Yeah. I know, I know. There we go. Good girl. Oop. It's okay. Not sure about that. No, it doesn't. She's got matting under her chin as well, yeah. so it's not comfortable for her. So would you start with her, with her face to... No, I'm just gonna get in and get off what I can. So even getting this um, lead on her... Do you want me to make this come down? No. I can make mm. this whole thing come down. No, I've yeah. got things to make it easier for me. I just need to find them. Where are they? Are you little joiner things? Oh, they're on the ends of those chains over there, if you can grab one for me. See on the floor, on the wall, there's a, hang a hook there. <laughs> yeah. <'Cause I'll> just... <laughs> I've, I've had lots of really, I've had lots of really big dogs in here that don't fit into my okay. um, crates and... They don't fit in my crates and I just had to try and do the best I could with what I had. Hello, Bella. <laughs> okay, Bella. Come here, darling. So she's gonna she's probably be very gonna nervous about freak this. out, but that's alright. We're just gonna go slow. Keep it all calm, cool and collected. Alright, Bella. She's been doing the four, sure. She has, but not regularly enough. By the looks of it, um, they've been trying to keep it, look after it in some way at home. Yeah. Um, but obviously it's not. It looks like they trimmed her face. Yeah. Well, they would have had to. Her face is definitely being trimmed. 
It looks like there's been sciz like the top of her coat, her back and stuff has had scissors taken to it just to cut off some of the length. But you can't at home without clippers and some knowledge of how to groom a dog. You can't groom the legs and the sanitary areas and um, so all that's going to be really severely matted in comparison to the rest of her body. So with any luck, she lets me just get it off for her without being dramatic. I, I say dramatic, it's not dramatic. Without being in too much discomfort and um, resorting to biting and being fearful. That's right back. What, what size is that? This play. Seven. This is a seven for now. Um, but I don't think we'll get through her whole um, body. I think this is probably the only part I'll be able to use a seven on. Hi. Oh, that would feel amazing. It's okay. She's side eyeing me. She's not. She's not happy. No. Doesn't it feel good though? You haven't had a scratch like that in a long time. Good girl. Hmm. <laughs> You're okay. You're very cute. So I have to get a toy today as well because she's. Yes, but my toy box is nearly empty. Right. Well, these subscribers know what to do. Hopefully. Do they know what to do? I don't know. <laughs> we do have an Amazon wish list. An Amazon um, wish list. Which is in the um, link in the description. Yeah. So Pam, Foster Kitten, and Mindy Willen were the last. Yes. Pam sent us like two lots of toys, oh, right, I yeah. think. Well, we've had several, anyway. And they've been getting all for the doggies. They and have. And doing videos of them all. I'll have to find them and do a whole thing. Yeah, we don't always video it. No, we do. Uh, not always. I've given some away without videoing it. Oh, well, that's, um, which that's I a do, new problem. It, yeah, I do apologise that I don't always video it, but um, we're not doing it necessarily for the content creation. Sometimes it's just because we love the doggies. Yeah, that is true. So it's one of those tricky things. So I'd say she's been doing this before. She has, but this is um, not very comfortable for her to have this matting removed like this. So someone sent you a, a text message about furology oh, yeah. appointment. I get lots of those. <clears throat> Okay, darling. Let's just be nice and calm. Good girl. So I'm happy to leave the muzzle on her just as a deterrent, so that she just to stop her from even escalating to thinking about biting as an option. So you don't know the temperament at all? No, but when they're this frightened of just being in the room um, and being handled, well, you're gonna, you're gonna see some, potentially see some um, not very nice behaviors. She's doing better than someone like Gizmo, for example. Yeah, and Cinnamon. And Cinnamon. But she's been doing before, and she, I think she knows where you can the drill. Um, so I booked these guys in yesterday. I happened to have somebody who um, had to go away yeah. for medical stuff and they've ended up in Melbourne. So interstate, unfortunately, the poor loves. Oh, right. um, but... That, you filled the spot. Oh yeah, the spot was open and it's Friday. So I was like, oh well, I'll just leave it there. And if it gets filled by somebody, it gets filled. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but to my surprise, I got a phone call uh, late last night actually it was after it was about 6 30. well my unprofessional opinion is that she's not going to bite you yeah i'm feeling that um but wait till we get to the legs and the sanitary areas yeah so now i'm just trying to pick up this very she's got very thin hair um, and I'm just trying to get underneath of some of this matting here so I don't have to pull. Good girl. Let's check that food. Okay. Poor little puppy. I know, right? I just feel ter terrible for them when they're um, 
very sad. She's just sad because she's worried. Then it makes me sad. I like to have happy puppies come and visit me. Okay. Alright, it's okay. I'm gonna look after you, darling. I am gonna lift you up like this though, I'm sorry. So I think we'll just drop to a 10 straight up, not stuff around with it. Uh, a big wide one? No, 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 no. I've, I've got it. I've already, oh, got, already it. got it. I've got right. it, yeah. Uh, before I do, just quickly. Just oh, you're not even secured on the table, miss. I might just try, go down her belly a little bit. See how she tolerates me um, holding and maneuvering her. Yep. Good girl. So the reason for trying as much as I can with the seven is I just want to avoid um, exposing too much of her skin on her um, areas that are exposed to the sun every day. Where we live, the UV rating is like 13 or 14, it is extremely high. Um, and the more you have them exposed to that, really seriously damaging sun, the higher their risks of skin cancers and other problems yeah. um, come into play. So we definitely do our best to be considerate of that when we can. Um, doing it underside in a pen is not as bad as doing the top. And of course it does grow back quite quickly. Unless you're a dog that lays on your belly all day long. Which is probably what <laughs> if I was a lot a of dog, dogs do. If I was a dog I'd do that. You're okay, Bella. You're okay. I'm here, sweetheart. It's coming off all in one piece. It is. And not by, not on purpose. I'm not trying to make it come off in one go, you guys. We're just working it down. It's not like it's heavy, anyway. You know? It's not heavy at all. It's just, uh, it's very light. Very light, wispy old skin of hair. What do you call that? Felted. Pelted. Pelted. Yes. I like felted better. So do I. So we'll go with that. Okay, so we're just getting to that really serious thick matting right in the middle. Yeah, where she sits on it all the time. I feel like she tucks herself up like a little chicken wing. Okay, baby. Okay. Stay there. I'm going to try and get your arm off your chest. There we go. Yeah, that was connected, wasn't it? Yeah. And we do need to be careful of nipples, which is always harder than it looks. And even on boys. Yes, Dale did learn this year that boys have nipples too. Yep. All well, dogs have the same number of nipples as the girl dogs. Do you know their nipples sometimes go down their peepees? And they've got nipples on their peepees? No, no, sorry, you have to say that again. I didn't understand <laughs> that at all. Did you know that male dogs' nipples go down, sometimes they end up on their peepees, on their little willies. They've got nipples on their, on their willies. No, they don't. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. So that must be like a wart or something. No. Yeah, yeah. You're okay, sweetheart, I know. Oh, okay, I know. Just relax for me, darling. No, we don't believe that. Oh, I'll have to take a photo next time. What? You see an nipple on a piece of Uh, yeah, all the time. Like on the sheath that covers the wiener. So it's like okay. nipple, 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 and they get closer together. And then where the pee pee is, there's nipples on either side on the little weenie. Okay. On the weenie woo. Come here, darling. All right, let's do this arm first. Just, shh, you gotta trust me that I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? It's okay, it's okay. It's so gentle. Well, she is for now. I know it's uncomfortable. At least we're having a bit of this time. Come here. 
But how come they haven't brought her in to be groomed in any time recently? Uh, I don't know, but I've made a decision that I'm no longer going to talk about my clients in videos. Yeah. Because it makes me really anxious. Um, I don't want to damage my business. So the dog that we have, we're just going to groom them. Unless, of course, they are um, a story that doesn't relate directly to the client. Like they've rescued the dog and things like that. Otherwise, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why. It's all I can say, really. I mean, we know Walkie's story. Yeah. His family didn't have any money. And they obviously got a dog that they couldn't accommodate. Yes. But she looks like older. She's an older dog. She is a little bit older, I think. Yeah, you might be right about that. So I'm going to just get her to a point where I can put her in the hammock and try and do a lot of this legs in the hammock just because they are really quite severely matted. It's going to be very uncomfortable for her. You're okay, I know. I know. Come here, darling. Come on. How many days has it been since the last poop accident? About a week. A week? Roughly. Well, there's all poop in there. Yeah. Does that count? No. You're okay. You're okay. I'm being careful. I've not seen her tail at all because it has been tucked underneath. Firmly wedged between her little legs. Tucked underneath there. So just see if we can get away some of this hair quickly. I'm super on edge about her bite risk um, because I know that she's very uncomfortable and very scared. It's okay. It's Give her okay. a scrub, a good pat, and then. You got just hands, my love. Oh, she's so tiny. She is. And gentle. She's just such a gentle little creature. I think she loves that. Is that good? Yeah. I'm gonna come around here and we'll just get some of this off your face. Come on. I know, you're she's just a little pudding. <laughs> There. She's just such a little pudding. I hate having to do this to little puddings. Yeah. You're not even a crumpet, you're just a pudding. I know, I'm sorry I put that muzzle on you. I just have to keep you safe and keep me safe. And you little white fluffy dogs are fast yep. when you get cranky. Um, I will say when the owner brought her in, he had um, not very good etiquette as far as bringing a very anxious dog into a salon. So she did not have a collar or a lead. He just carried her in um, and pretty much just threw her to me like a loaf of bread. Like, here, this is Bella, um, which is very dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous for the dog um, because when dogs are very scared and you suddenly just throw them at somebody. But there were also other dogs around. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I've had this before, where somebody just tried, like, basically threw a dog at me over a fence, and the dog reacted like, "What the hell?" and started biting and losing its mind. Um, and well, I dropped the dog because what other choice do I have? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the dog was like, rum, 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 rum. Yeah, and the dog ran away. This is when I was mobile yep. and I was just like, why would you do that? What, why would you just throw the, I just arrived. I just got out of my car and he just like, and I was like, whoa, you know? Um, and the dog actually nearly bit me on my face. Mm. So when, when you bring your dog into the salon, the correct etiquette is to have them on a lead and put them on the floor and hand the lead to the groomer. You don't throw dogs at groomers. Because yeah. the dog doesn't know what's going on. Do they? Mm. Some people are silly. Um, fortunately, she, I was able to position her to have her face away from me. Um, but yeah, she's 
careful, I don't want to catch the side of your ear leather in my clipper. That would not be very nice for you, my love. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let's just get this done, shall we? Make it easy now, alright? See just here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just I quickly get that off if I can. Oh, no, this is another gizmo. Come on. I know. I know. Shh. Use the cat clippers to get that off. No. They won't go through it. It's just a little. A little bit by bit, isn't it? Hey? Okay. He's so cute. He's not going to save you from this. I'm You're sorry. Adorable. We need to get it done. You're so cute. Okay. Nearly there. So that's love grass by the looks of yeah. it. Uh, which I've mentioned before, but not really been able to show it. No, it's hard to. But see how it just kind of wraps up the whole area of the hair? Mm -hmm. Just relax, darling. Just relax. That's it. Oh, we did it. Oh. <laughs> so see that? Um, it's it's you actually can't even really um, see what it is. it's actually a strand with little tiny leaves on it. Yeah. And it just wraps up and wraps up. Are you feeling good? Are you? Hey. Oh, you got hairs everywhere. Hairs everywhere. Just don't go over the top of her head. He's so cute. Yes, you are. Okay, sweetheart. Come here. I don't think she's, she's bitey at all. I think she's just nervous. The bite end of this is going to love her. Well, love me, especially. Just a, you gotta trust the process, my darling. I'm sorry. They're big scary clippers. I know. And she's just got some tangles in her eyes, which we'll try and soften up in the bath and then get, get them off. Yeah. Yeah. The clippers are bigger than her. They yeah. are. I know, it seems so strange to see such big clippers being used. Uh, I'm very comfortable with the wide blades. I used to think the same thing when I watched other groomers using them. I'm very comfortable with the wide blades. It does not take long to adapt to the extra width. Um, and even on a small dog, you just you get very used to it. Uh, in saying <laughs> that though, I also use very large shears. My scissors are huge. And I'm very much used to using them on small dogs. Can we keep it? Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't keep all the doggies. I'm sorry. Well, not. It's not fair. I know. I know. All right, my darling, come it's here. So cute. You gotta put this back on now. I'm sorry. Because of the feet. Yeah. You're gonna do a stringer up in the. I'm gonna try and get the this, um, the sanitary. If you have a look here, we've got a lot to work through there. Yeah. Um, and she's got very prominent but very small nipples, so yep. we need to be so yeah, careful we don't them. pick those up. So careful. Right, so all your trust would just go out the window. Yes. Hello. You've so kind of just got to go around them. <laughs> Come here, my sweet pea. Good girl. Okay. Yeah, not gonna be easy, that's for sure. It's okay, you gotta just hang in there and try and trust me, honey. Try and trust me, I know. Come on, you did a good job. You did a good job. You're alright, okay? You are okay. Mm hmm, you're okay. Let me suck up some of your worries.
<laughs> We've got to keep going, okay? We need to get it done. Her tail's right there. It is. It looks really furry there, but her tail's tucked between her legs. Stand up. Okay. She's so little. She She's really a delicate is. little thing. <laughs> she really is. It makes me so nervous. Can I lift this up? How am I going to get these hairs off here for you? You can't even see anything because the tail keeps getting in the way. I just need to hold her up and she needs to let me do that. Come here, come on. Come here. You're okay. He's not going to save you, I'm sorry. I okay? will save you. That's not true. You have to get this done. We just got to get through it. She's a yeah. cutie pie. She is such a cutie pie. And that's the word for today. <laughs> cutie pie. Cutie pie. All right, darling. It's okay. It may change. She might bite you. She's still a cutie pie, isn't it? She does. Her booty is going to be very difficult. She's tucked up like a little chicken wing. No, no. You can do it when you're um, on the house. Yeah. You can. Well, like I've said many times before, I wouldn't want to be strapped up and someone say my butthole. Yes, we've heard it all many times before. And then I always say, well, maybe, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Okay. So no. Come here. Come Cutie here. pie's the key word. Nothing, nothing poop or bum related. Yeah, yeah I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm really proud of no, you. No, excuse me. Well you done. came up with the last key, the last key. What right? was it? Wide back end. Wide back end. <laughs> but when I spelt it out, I spelt it wrong. Yeah, I know. What did it, you left out the C or the I K? I left out the C. Yeah, I know. When I watched the video back, I was like, I'm <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah, what an idiot. Not that I can talk, because you know, being like mostly dyslexic and um, <clears throat> spelling things wrong all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are okay. And only aspiring to be a dog owner. A... I think aspiring <laughs> to be a dog Okay, so when I was growing up, the thing that I wanted to be was a vet. To the vet, yeah. Yeah. Sorry uh, to all the dog groomers, I'm only, it was just a pun, okay? I didn't mean to hurt Don't worry, guys, he just draws pretty pictures for I a living. He's pictures. not any cooler than the rest yeah. of us. No, I just, yeah. So I got some love grass in this underarm. Yeah. Really, pretty badly, and it pulls. It's really nasty stuff. Can you see in there? Yeah. So it's, oh, yeah. we're just very, it's let me, right, pulling under it, I'm gonna just, let's take five minutes, let this blade cool down. And I'm gonna get a Coke. Yeah, that's what I want to drink. Because I'm thirsty. I need a drink. You are thirsty. Will she have a drink? Um, we can try. We'll take this off her for a minute. Give her a wee little break. You've done such a good job. You've Where's done such again? a good job. Oh, they're tucked in here. <sighs> It's a good baby. Is that feel good? Oh, we still got some. It's okay. Can I just quickly? Yeah, there we go. You're gonna feel amazing when we're all done. Oh. Here. I'm not sure if she can even reach it. Oh, you're so cute. No, you're all good. Doesn't want it. Do give me kisses. You go give me kisses. I want a drink though. Yes. All right, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, little pickle. We've all had a drink. Put this back on. All had a drink, all feeling better. So I do just want to free up the top of her arms because they're not easy to access in the hammock at the top. Look. Oh no, not now. No, She's wanna... dirty. She'll make the toys dirty. I just wanted to have a look. Oh, look I've already put her muzzle on, I know. Oh, you put a muzzle so yeah. she can't get it. No, we're ready to go. <laughs> Come here. Okay, we'll do this after. Very silly. We'll do it after. Oh, yeah. Fine. Okay. Put them there. That's something we do at the end, my love. She's got something to look forward to. Okay. You know, you go to five work with me here now, okay? Good girl. So remember, we've got that love grass we're trying to get out. Yeah. Very carefully. Right, it is. And we don't want to catch any delicate little armpit skin. So it just works. Very slowly. I'm sorry, I know, I see it. 
Come here. The head's quite a convenient thing to grab, isn't it, when you pull it around? It is. <laughs> I can't get any lower, hang on. There you go. It's because she's so tiny, you have to go. It is so tiny. Oh. It's okay. I oh, know. Let's just keep going. You might even be able to do this without the hammock. But will she even fit in the hammock? That's what I was going to ask. She is very small. She might just jump right out. For now, it's working, so we'll just keep going. A little bit by a little bit. Oh no, I'm sorry, sweetheart. You did a good job. You did a good job. That might be it for that area, for that leggy, okay, and then we'll put you in the hammock and we'll just pull your leg down. So you know it's pretty bad when the 10 blade is not even going sliding through. Yeah, but she's really small. She is really she's small. She's a tiny dog, so I'm going to need a nine blade for this dog. There is such thing as a nine blade. Yeah. Yeah. I have fifteens. Um, ironically, a nine blade is bigger than a ten blade, longer. Was well, one thing I always found interesting in the hospital. Is it? I don't know now. In the hospital, when they have syringes yeah. and needles, I mean, they stick a needle into a baby. It's like sticking a sword into a, an adult. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not. A... <laughs> when you do the size comparison. I guess so. They do have wee little baby needles. Yeah, well, use those. Yeah. They do. The length is not the thing. Not the, yeah, no, but the width of it. The gauge. The gauge. Is the correct word you're looking for? It's like using a, a needle that you would use on an elephant. It's okay. On a human. It's okay. It's okay. Well, my first analogy was better, it's like okay. sticking a whole sword into a... Just stay there. Stay. Stay. We're going to get your underarms cleaned out, okay? Just let me get it done. And I've had enough babies to know and see all that. And every time I think... You've never been to any bloody baby appointment. Yes, I have. They always get the prick in the foot whenever they come oh, out when they, the I guess when they're first born. Yeah. I'm always there for that. I've been there for that. I'll give you that. Every time. Every time I've endured that part of it. Endured? Hilarious. Something just fell down. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Something just fell down in the cupboard. Oh, oh just a bag, a Coles bag that I left in there. Put this down. A creepy ghost. Do you no. believe in ghosts? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Not really. I think when people die, the lights go out and that's it. Nobody's home anymore. Well, they go to heaven. No. Yeah. Maybe. No, we, we have a lot of, um, of religious people. We do. In our YouTube. And um, I, I was brought up with a religious background. You were. I was not. <clears throat> yeah, you were. Kind of. On and off. Okay, okay. But I you could think... just you could just entertain us and say that you do believe okay. in ghosts. Uh, but it, yeah, okay. I don't know what I believe in. I'm just happy to find out when the time comes. There you go. I believe in being a good person and helping others and living a good life. That's what I do believe in. Yep. I believe in 
there's an asteroid falls out of space and it's big enough to destroy the entire planet, then um, nothing else really matters anyway. That's true. <laughs> there's supposed to be one time passed in 2029. Yeah. Apophysis or something? Is what it's called? I can't remember the name. Yeah, apophysis. Apophysis. Oh, now I've got a list all of a sudden. Apophysis. You can't say apophysis. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wasn't it just ap apophis? Apophysis. It wasn't apophysis though. It was apophis. 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 It wasn't. Say that again. Apophis. It's not apophis. It was a p o p h i s. Yeah, fis. P H doesn't say this. It yes, says it does. fis. Apophis. <laughs> I don't know, leave me alone. <laughs> you get it's like okay. a dog, really. It's okay. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter in 2029. Can you please put the word on the screen so that people can yeah. understand my confusion? It doesn't matter not. in 2029 Same because on. Apophis is going PH to... PH does not make TH sound. PH says F. No. Apophis. No. I, I don't know, but if you're wrong, I'm going to be so happy. I probably am wrong, now that I think about it. Because you're trying to make me look like a doodleberry, but I think it's you. You're the doodleberry. I'm probably the doodleberry. <laughs> so I don't even know now. <laughs> and now I feel like an idiot. Good. See? It's not very nice, is it? Come here, But darling. you make me feel like an idiot all the time. That is true. It brings me much joy and pleasure to make you feel like a goose. But yeah, 2029, put that date in your diary, guys. <laughs> You're an idiot. Might be the last thing you do. I doubt it. Oh, so apparently it's just going to miss. And then it's going to go between Earth and the Moon. Lovely. And it's going to... The trajectory... Oh, don't put your head in there. Can you say there. that word too? Trajectory? Yes, I can say trajectory. Can you... I'm, I'm having complications here. I'm not listening to you. She does not have a muzzle on. No, and she put her the head's gone head through her leg, her leg hole. What do you want me to do? I'm just the cameraman. There. There we go. Boop. Okay. Um, the trajectory, trajectory <laughs> is going to be changed. <laughs> oh, you that laugh you just got out of me. The gravity of the Earth and the Moon is going to make it ricochet. That's interesting. She's so tiny. She is so tiny. She's a wee little bubba. A wee little bubba. All right, darling. Now, if I put that on you, I know I'm sorry. I, I really just, it's just a, a deterrent so that she doesn't think about biting me at all. It's okay. It's okay, honey. Good girl. I know, I know. Now bear in mind, we don't know what's in here. Um, and it's usually worse than it looks. Yeah. A lot of um, pulling, even when you use a 10 blade. Everything's all kind of connected and it's all pulling between the toes, which I don't have hair between my toes, but I imagine it doesn't feel very nice. Yeah. I imagine it feels like when you haven't clipped your nails and you put shoes on. Yeah. And like the start the, the like cutting between the toes and it hurts. Hang on, honey. Hang on. Hang on. Just bear with me, darling. Good girl. I know. And then you go and play sport and like that. Oh no. I'm pretty yeah. particular about getting my nails cut on a good timeline. Yeah. Well, I went on VR last night and I thought, oh, geez, I need to cut my toenails. Yes, yeah, my VR, that. my VR shoes are a bit smaller than yeah. normal. I got, I had a big ingrown toenail which gave me all kinds of grief, and that was not nice. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Just so that's relax. when you discovered Crocs. I love my Crocs. So now you've been I'm wearing my purple too. ones today. So I you, swap. you never wear your blue ones. That's not true. I swap. <laughs> you do always wear your blue ones. So you're never on camera. No, it's always 
um, on different. Every time we're on camera, I'm wearing my purple ones. Sorry, Pam, she does wear them. What we show you guys in the salon well, is just a snippet of the week. The thing really. is, though, is that that it's summer still, so these are more of my summer Crocs with no socks on. Um, but then when it starts to get cold, you oh, better yeah, believe I'll be, be wearing my <laughs> blue Crocs with my socks. Yep. Because I don't want cold feet. Crocs and socks. And then you're still going to get cold feet, though. I probably will still get cold feet. And then you're going to come inside and put them on me. That's exactly that's what I plan to do. Completely unacceptable. You are my resident foot warmer. Mm -hmm. Good girl, Bella. Good girl. You ever see a man scream like a little girl? Put your, put your cold feet on them and then you'll see it. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Good girl. I know, I know. It's okay. Can you grab my 30 um, plate, please, my love? Oh, yeah. Well, we did it together, didn't we, guys? Just 30. put it on the table. No, actually try and get the matting out from my paw pads with that. Uh -uh -uh. Hush now, hush. Okay. Good job. Like that. She's warm. Yeah. Oh. She is under stress. She's doing very well at not showing it. Giving a good she sense. She is an anxious little lamby. She loves that though. She does. She's got her little muffins She's tucked frozen. in. Frozen. Can you see this? Yep, we're looking around at it. Good thing the GoPro has a good wide angle viewing thing. Yeah. Because I would miss a lot of what's going on. You're easily distracted, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I can't do two things at once, as you know. Yes, I do. And I'm having a dog turn now, so. Well, that's very important work. Okay. See? Adding the dog. Now, after our bath, hopefully that all just floofs up and we can clean it out completely. I just realised I put the GoPro really close to my, my mouth and my nose. Mm, you don't need to put that in my so video. So Cornelia Afra would have been hearing oh, me breathing. Oh, listen to you breathe. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so I'm just carefully going to try to... Let's start with this tail. Is there any chance we can get your tail out from between your legs. There there's we go. a bit of poop in there. Yeah. Oh, there's some grasses. There's, there's it's grass love grass. It's yeah, all love grass. Terrible <laughs> stuff. Not going through, is it? No. Oh, that was the seven? Yeah. She's tucking right up, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> yes, her back end is going to be the hardest of all of this, I think. Yeah. Now, but I can help you. See what I meant? That you can't can really get up. into anything when you're in the hammock with these real, real little doggies. Yeah, because it's a little. And that mat in there is just super tight. My little knees. going to be free and then we might see her in another year yeah poor little lovely the same condition I think she's a people dog yeah she's very loving but, oh, okay. but when she's in this condition how does one love the little dog you know what I mean because you can't you can't pat them you can't yeah, I don't know. They, they smell bad, and well, she doesn't smell bad. But no, she, so she's still getting, I think it's just not quite understanding the needs of the dog. Um, she's getting washed. What? She, yeah, she's been washed and bathed. No way. Yeah. She's, she's had hairs. That's right. That's what happens when you wash a dog, but you don't dry them and brush them. You have to dry them and brush them. 
a lot of people just wash their dog and then chuck it in the backyard to air dry, and that doesn't work on a long-haired dog. I need to sneeze. Okay. I was going to hold your nose for you. <coughs> Please don't. You've been patting the dog. Oh, with my other hand. <laughs> I love him scratching my butt with his hand. Thank you. Can you grab my other ten blade, please? Here we are. Oh, there. there. Thank you. Oh, she's dusty. The, us, the YouTube crew, keep getting you the clippers. Well, you're standing in front of them, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, I also stand in front of the hair bin, too, so... You do. I just realised that today. Such a helpful human being. Yeah, just very carefully gonna try and get underneath this last little bit that doesn't wanna come out. Oh, uh, Juice knows you're with another dog, patting another dog and cheating on him. Actually, this is her size. His size, sorry. Yeah. This is Juice's size. Yeah, she Not like that other size. Quite though. enjoy her company, I'm sure. Not that that will be happening. <laughs> See how thin that little um, yeah. part is? Oh, yep. it gives me the worst anxiety trying to work through. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my love. Can I, can I hold that leg out? No, just leave it. See, when we're dogs, it's like a scene from Ghost. Okay, but you're bumping me. Get off. <laughs> get off. I love you, but get off. <laughs> you're such That's a not how it goes, goes. I know. She's supposed to be fully in love and oh everything dear. like that. Oh, oh no. dear. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. Welcome to the room in the I'm just holding her by a tail, which I always feel really bad about, but there's not much I can do. Sorry, darling. We could reenact the scene from Ghost. We could, but we don't need to right now. And do it so it's like a rock. <laughs> love grass. Why do they call it love grass? It's not lovely. Does it love doggies? It does love doggies. Okay, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. No, I'm not. Ooh, yes, okay. everything is little about this dog. And now there's just... you got to relax, honey, so I can get in here. You do know what? Just hang, just hang out there for a minute. Did just you get that? Just right in. Did you get that pun? I did. It's a thing out there for a minute. You're very punny. I can make doggies go to sleep. No. By talking to them for ages. <laughs> Just bore them right that's to what, sleep. That's what's happening with a lot of people now. Listen they're watching your, your, your video of this and they're in their bed nodding off to sleep. Nodding off to sleep. It's the sound of the clip and someone yeah. said in the comments. Ready? What? Someone said in one of the comments. I can't remember who it was. Oh. I can't remember. Someone said that when they uh, get in their bed, the sound of the clippers makes them go to sleep. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Who was that? Uh, I don't remember. One of our favourite ones. Yeah. No, we've got lots of favourites, haven't we? I've got 12,500 favourites. <laughs> yeah, we do. I'm a mum. I love you all the same. And then when they say, well, who do you hate the most? I hate you all the same. <clears throat> oh, yeah. sorry, can you? No, what? I'll hold this for a sec. Yeah, there we go. I should have stood up, but I didn't. I didn't, did I, Bella? She's being a lazy bones. There we go. I don't know, what happened? You're oh, about now. You You're again. the other way. It's you again. I can't reach my pe Pepsi Mac anymore now. Your Pepsi Mac? Hmm. I'll go over here. Get it. She's doing very well. 
Hopefully she doesn't mind having a bath. So those people nodding off to sleep right now. Yeah. I'll do a Imagine um. Imagine if my phone rang or something like that. Oh uh, yeah. I'll help. <laughs> I'll help, Freddie. Yeah. Now close your eyes and take five deep, relaxing breaths. Counting in one, two, three, and out. One, two, three. There you go. Everyone to sleep now. Uh, I listen to sleep hypnosis when I go to sleep. <laughs> Bring it back. Bring it back. Sorry, guys, just boring you all off to sleep. Um, I listen to, um, I don't remember the lady's name now. It's been a couple of weeks since I've actually listened to my sleep hypnosis. Yeah, you don't do that. Anymore. I did for a long time. Yeah, the, the head thing or whatever that had. Yeah, I do. But now I'm not sleeping very well again, so I think it's time I start listening again. You could just put your videos on and go to sleep like everybody else <laughs> No, see, the sound of clippers puts me in work mode. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it would. I don't enjoy watching other grooming videos because it makes me feel like I'm supposed to be doing something. It's difficult for me to relax. Yeah. Which is ironic because I listen to murder mysteries instead and that helps me yeah, relax. Helps relax. <laughs> think there are different ways that you could kill your husband. Yeah. <laughs> Just shoring up my plan to make sure there's no um, unexpected surprises. Yeah, you're going to get caught though, you know that. Probably. Unless you've really studied it. I wouldn't you say have. really studied it, but you know. No, I'm joking. I don't have a plan. This is the bit here. It's just, Do you it's still attached? Probably. Just, it is. <laughs> Do you Get believe it? It's still attached. It's attached in her booty. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to pull on that. Your hair there. I'm getting there, I promise. Everything's still attached. Yeah. I'll just do the cover of Yeah, that's a good idea. This is a tiny little tail. She does. And a tiny little butt. Should be able to poop through anyway, right? She will. Looks like she's had a bit of an issue. Just check that blade isn't too hot for her little delicate booty skin. Now, what is this attached to? Sorry, my love. See, it wasn't attached. I could have yonked it off anyway. Okay, see that though? Oh, okay. Yep. Now, I will get, sorry, can you hold just that? Yep. Real quick. So, am I an arse assistant? Yep, definitely. Like an arse assistant? Yeah, absolutely. Just can't get it, okay. I'm making all these dad jokes everywhere, you know. Yeah, I can hear it. What is Can that? I let go of the tail? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, good. Okay. I think we're doing a pretty good job at the end. <laughs> I think I'm pretty happy with that for now. Mm -hmm. Oh, my arms are sore from holding them up in the air. Let's do this. Um, you you know. go to the gym more. I do. Oh my goodness, I do. So you haven't been this week? What's your excuse? I have several excuses. I'm having trouble as a parent for a start. Yeah. Some, a, a little boy who's entering his teenhood. What's no, he's not. Well, he is. Okay, he's 11, I suppose, yeah, all right. He's just really testing all of the limitations of my patience. Yep. And experimenting with how being hurtful to other people affects his outcomes. So that's the reason I ate four carrot cake cupcakes last night. I oh, know it was three. I was very sad last night. But that's okay. That's parent life. Hang in there, honey buns. Hey, 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 come on. 
Where's the scratches? Oh, the scratches? Yeah, there's one. Uh, so that was one excuse. The other is that I had to go to Adelaide for Geordie's ENT appointment. Yep. Which went very well. So you did a lot of driving yesterday. Uh, on Wednesday. It was how many hours I probably of did all up about eight, seven and a half to eight hours of driving. Um, and then of course that we had his actual appointment and we did some other things in between. You went to an escape room. I did go to an escape room. I took this boy to an escape room. I paid a fortune for it and gave him a nice day out. <sighs> and then he was a jerk to me. And you didn't get, he didn't get lost in there, so you came home with him. I did bring him home. Yeah. I allowed him to escape. We had a lot of fun. We worked together and um, we succeeded. We escaped our escape room. He seems like a bright individual for a while. He, eh? he is a bright individual. He's just a total yeah. butthole. It's raising kids for you, isn't it? You've got to go through all of the things, not just the good parts. Oh, well. Uh, what else did I do this week? Uh, Amber had appointments. Yep. Which was always fun. And I worked. Yeah, I think I just a bit burnt out this week. But I do believe that going to gym will lift my mood, so we will go to gym tonight. Yay! How's that? How do you feel? A little bit better? Surely that's much better. Let me get this hair off the table. We'll Surely put you down and then better. run your nice warm bubble bath. Yucky poos, I need to wash my hands. Okie dokie. Release the kraken. A miniature kraken. Slowly. There you go. Oh my goodness, look at her. How's that? So good. Hey, how's that? Super cute. Look at you. <laughs> Look at you. Hello. She's a whole new doggy. Is the gate yes. closed? Can I just put her on the floor for a yeah. minute? Oh no, I might not be able to pick her up again. We'll do it after. Right. We'll give her a wash. No, I want to see her on the floor. Do it. You sure? Yeah, no, you said it now. She Everyone wants to see her it. Let me pick her up again. No, well, she'll come to you. I hope so. She'll just go exploring. She might be sad that she's got to come back again. Come she on. probably needs to do a week. Come on. Oh, it's so little. It's a good girl. <laughs> it's a good girl. Come here. Aww. Uh, see? Good girl. Oh, I could totally keep her. I'm a little bit in love with her. I could keep you. Yes, I could. Oh, look at you. Should we get you a bath? <laughs> oh, she's got some hairs here still. She's um, getting more comfortable with you. Can we get your bath ready? I could keep her. I could love her all up. She could be my other little baby. Yeah. Okay, let's get your bath before I fall too much in love with you. Am I stopping? Yeah. All right, see you guys. They're all gone. Oh, hello, what have we got? Here. It's got the squeaker in it. What do you want, this one? This one? This guy's a big one. Hmm. I think she's a bit nervous, my love. You could have this one, but you probably want this one because it's got, it's about your size. Like quite literally, your size. So what type of doggy do you think this is, guys? <laughs> Any ideas? Oh, she gave you kisses. I reckon she's like a, a Shih Tzu cross Jack Russell miniature thing. Miniature thing. I don't know. <laughs> you have a bath? A Shih Tzu cross teacup chihuahua. Oh, 
Oh, she's going to do the swim thing. Can can we video the swim thing when you're finished? I don't That's know. That's so cute. I don't think she's swimming. She she did do the swim thing. Oh, oh my. look, she did the oh, swim thing. Oh, you want to go swimming? I love the swim thing. Oh, oh. pumpkin. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Let me put you down. You have a bath. <laughs> oh, baby. I love that so much. You don't get to see that very I often. I don't see it very Not often at all. Do it. I really don't. <laughs> You're ready to have a it's bath. So cute. You're so cute. That's I think we're both in love adorable. with her. Adorable. We're both in love with her. And we can't keep her. No. We can't. Somebody loves her. It's okay. It's okay. I think I put that in right at the it's introduction. Let's go. Let's get So is that spray hard or what? No. It's yeah, right. um, Oh, that's nothing. It's very gentle. Like yeah. Uh, even so, but this you is. Can it. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's hard. So that's and there's hardly any water coming out of there. It's just a garden hose spray. It is, really, isn't it is, yeah. I think I've had some comments about pressure washing dogs. Yeah. I'm not pressure washing. They said you were anybody. cool for pressure washing a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a pressure washer. Hang on, you're going to get your head wet. There we go. You're all right. I know, I'm sorry. Somebody also asked if I was trying to drown the dog. No, just wash their face without getting water in their ears. Oh. Give me a tail. Wash out your booty hole. Oh, the swim thing. That was so cute. I can watch that for hours, it's still on replay, you know what I mean? It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doggy paddle. It's so cute. So do it again when you get out, so make sure you... Oh, you are in my way, so... Oh, you got to clean all this off. We do. Look at my car. This is her toy. Hang that up there. That looks really... Awful. Alright, come back over here. Yeah, we're going over here. Get her eyes. Oh, goobies. Yeah. This is a head lice comb that I got from the chemist. Yep. It's a people comb. For kids. Well, yeah. Uh, sometimes adults get head lice. Not really. It's not very pleasant. Now I'm scratching, thinking oh. about. The, the head lice is so awful, things. isn't it? I can't stand it. You don't talk about um, these things. And because of Amber's hair being the thickest mop of hair. So we've had head lice one time. Yeah. Once. Touch all the wood. The school seems to do a good job at it. Yeah. Can we turn this off? Uh, yeah. The school seems to do a good job at um, controlling it, more or less. Um, but, yeah, to trying to... Like, I have an actual phobia of it because... Trying to de louse Amber's hair the one time she had it. This was when she was much younger, too. She was about six or seven. It was yeah. Yeah, just an absolute nightmare. It took weeks of just sitting there. Picking them out. Yeah. And treatment after treatment. I would not recommend head lice to anyone. <laughs> no, of The boys are fine because you just give them a short haircut and yeah. a couple of treatments. Yeah, one and then like five days later another one just to be sure. Bob's your uncle. Abby's got hair like mine. It's thin and straight. There you go. Let's rinse it off. So she does have um, everyday pink shampoo but I've also put the whitening with the white shampoo in there to brighten up her coat a bit. What's left of it, that is. So if you do have an uncle named Bob, <laughs> put, a, put a message and say hello in the chat and let us know you do have 
Uh, Bob's your uncle? Bob's your uncle, yeah. I don't think I've ever met anybody who Bob was their uncle. <laughs> but if you've got an uncle, Robert, because Bobby's short for Robert. That's true. Well, then you do have an uncle. Bob's your uncle. Is that an Australian saying, or does everybody say I don't that? Know. Everybody I don't says know. that, right? Could be. I want to make sure this little beauty is clean. Just like everyone says, life is like a box of chocolates. Yeah. Probably the same thing. Bob's your uncle. Not really. Life is like a box of chocolates means you never know what you're going to get, but you just suck it up. And... No, but I'm saying it's, it's, it's common like that, the same. Oh, the same, I see. Bob's your uncle is like, easy done. Yeah, all good. Consider it done. You know what saying I hate? Fair shake of the sauce bottle. Fair shake of the sauce bottle. <laughs> no. Why do you hate that? I don't that know. So it just irritates me. It really irritates me. No, well, okay. So when you get to the end of the sauce bottle, you have to really make an effort to get the rest of it out. So that's what that changes with me. You reckon? Fair shake of the sauce bottle. So what's fair crack of the old witch then? Um, like, oh, come on, like, stop being unfair. You know, a fair crack of the old whip. <laughs> or you could even put it in that context too. Oh, I think we've got it. Oh, sorry. Splash ya. Yeah. I don't know now, but I say it all the time. Fair crack of the old whip. Yeah. But I don't know what it means. <laughs> you just have to be Australian and know what... You just know. It's in the moment. You're like, yeah, all right. All right. You yeah. know what it means. Let's get some condition over this little baby. <laughs> so, because you can say you have no idea what it means. You go, fair crack of the old whip, and you go, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's right. That's what I mean. That's what I was saying. I'm glad we're on the same page. Exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're all just like... What's Fair Crack of the Old Whip mean? <laughs> and we also, Bob's, Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Say. I say Bob's your uncle all the time. Cut lunch in a water bag? No, I've never said that one. Oh, that was my dad. Yeah, that's yeah. an older saying. Cut lunch in a water bag means a long way. I mean, you could say a long way faster than you can say cut lunch in a water bag. Yeah. Oh, uh, so is it like how far? How cut far lunch in a water bag? A long trip. Got it. That makes sense. That's the middle. Sam is going on there. And then there's the saying, the thing go out my baby. <laughs> That's actually a really sad story, that one. Although in Australia, for some reason, we just seem to make fun of it. I don't know. Because it's a conspiracy theory now. Did the dingo eat the baby or did reckon, the parents murder the child? I reckon the, the child? dingo did steal. Because I reckon the dingo did steal the baby. Because I've seen eagles. There's videos of eagles <sighs> trying to steal babies. Look again. Is that an eagle snatching a baby? In this video that has gone viral overnight, watch as this bird, thought to be a golden eagle in a park in Montreal, apparently trying to kidnap a child via airmail, carrying it several feet in the air while seemingly stunned onlookers chase after it before dropping its prize and taking off. Shuggy, come here. Come here. Come here. Then, do oh. we get eagles here? What are the birds, the big ones? Yeah, we get bigger here? eagles than they do in the US. Yeah, so we had um, a rabbit. And I would oh, take the yeah. rabbit in the backyard and play with her out there yeah. and let her have a wander around. Yeah. And the biggest bloody bird I've ever seen in my life started doing a circle. Around, yeah. Around, and I, it caught my attention because... It was um, so big. Even from standing on the ground and it being like way up in the sky, I could see that it was like this. <laughs> it was bigger than my arm span. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm looking at my rabbit and I was like, oh no. And it started getting lower as it circled and the circle was tighter. Yep. 
And so I race to grab it and run inside because. But what about thing. a little doggy like this in the backyard? They're bound to. Yeah. Be well, you see them. They they run. Eagle food. So when Alice was a puppy, it was the same. I was terrified she'd get doggy napped by a big bird. Look at you. You're so cute. Me you look you look scrumptious. Hang on, I'm just gonna do the swim thing. Ready? Oh, yes, okay. Swim Hang thing. On. I was gonna pick her up. And Are we ready, her. guys? This is so cute. Um, but she knows she's getting out, so she might not swim. She do the swim thing. It's a going down thing. <laughs> Go on, swim. They're doing it a little bit, as a tiny little bit. <laughs> anyway. She knows she's uh, we not got in water good now. Of she knows the she's not in thing. water. I'll turn this air conditioner off. Yeah, it's a bit cold in here. Turn that off. You're missing the best part. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll just yes, go to the doggy first. Part. Sorry, guys, I'm going for a ride at home. Do you feel so good? Oh, Hang that's on. good, isn't it? Hello. You're not attached to anything, so you've just got to slow down there a second. Nothing even came off. Oh, you're warm. Come here. Get your towel, guy. Yeah. Be careful not to blow her off the table when I you know. use the blow dryer. Always, always the hard part. But and you've had smaller dogs than this. I have. So, long. so the blow dryer's got two levels, level one and level two. The blow dryer doesn't, and it doesn't heat. get hot on the first level. It only gets hot on the second level. <laughs> yeah, right. So you've got to, you've got to use the second stronger blower. So that it warms up. Yeah. And then when I'm like de-shedding big dogs and stuff, and trying to get them really dry, then I add these attachments, and that's how I get the force. The force um, to come out. By that's that's really good for when you're blowing my face. <laughs> yes. Okay, sweetheart, are you but ready? But we haven't seen you blow your face yet. No. We need to see that. No. We do need to see that. Oh no. Guys, put a one in the in the. Uh, just just say that you want to see Kylie have her face blown all over the place by a hairdryer. No, thank you. Yeah, we want to see. That. head dried off these. It's still a bit wet. But I suppose you'll be dry by the time we get there again, huh? I hope so. Mm. 
Got any more doggies today? Yep. I should have a busy day considering it's my day off. <laughs> I didn't do very well at having a day off today. So but do you get many small doggies in the salon? Is this? Yeah. You do? Yeah. But why is she extra special? Uh, she's just cute. What do you mean extra special? I mean, is she cute compared to your other doggies? Or? She's cute. She's got a nice little personality. She's very nervous though. But you like the underdog. It's the underdog, the, yeah. The downtrodden, the Aussie battler like you. thing. Even though her name's Bella, so she's probably Italian. <laughs> Are you Italian, But you can Bella? still be an Aussie battler even though you're Italian. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You can be an Aussie battler even though you're from Denmark, from Canada, from the US, from the UK. That's like all Australia is, is just... A whole bunch of other people. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. And when you get to Australia, you just start riding kangaroos and emus. Just That's just what happens. Yeah. You know how to do it too. You don't need much training. No. Everybody's good at it. You've got to be a citizen though. You've got to be sworn in as a citizen. Yeah. And then you get your... <laughs> and then you get your kangaroo license. And your emu license. Emus are a bit harder than kangaroos because you've yep. got to be able to catch them and they're very fast. Well, you need to be lighter as well. Yeah. I haven't ridden an um, emu in a no, while. No, I'm a bit tubby. Look, this, this is... That's not an emu me, riding belly. Doesn't let me ride it, yeah. Can you give me a tissue? I'll hold this. Where from? Inside my cupboard at the top shelf. I really need to blow my nose. Not because you shoved the camera up my nose. Where? No. That Wrong cupboard. cupboard. Right, yes. So this is the, the hair-free cupboard. It is the hair-free cupboard and I love it because now my tissue box isn't full of hair. Thank you. Uh -huh. No, thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. So you just wake everyone up with that snoz blowing. Oh, that's better. Oh dear. All right, miss, are you gonna let me? Do this peacefully. What were we talking about? Oh, know. kangaroo riding. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, in Canada, they ride moose. Mises? Yeah, what's the rule? Mises. I once, I was a lot younger, first of all. I think I was still a kid, so a very young teenager. I, um, you know when you overthink something, like if yeah. you look at a word too long and you're like, and then your brain just shuts down and you're you, like. You're thinking about that word. Ooh. Yeah, I think we're in the car on a long drive and then I just went, wait, what's the word for more than one sheep? <laughs> and I just, my whole brain was just in, having conniptions trying to figure this out. Sheeps. Sheeps. Is it sheepses? Sheeps. Sheeps. Chefs? Sheeps. Are they chefs? What's going on? <laughs> I had a whole brain shut down. So what is it now? I'm confused. It's a sheep. It's a sheep, yeah. yeah. One sheep, two sheep, 73 sheep. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Well, I have that brain melting episode over the word of. Of. O. O. F. Yeah. I know you said O. V. It's O. F. And I was just like, oh. Oh. How do you spell of? Of? <laughs> of. Of? Yeah. It's O. F. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, now that you say it. Yeah, but, like, the, literally the word that you learn back in. Reception. Reception of the and those words that I've got me. <laughs> like I was, this was like 20 odd years ago. So yeah, but you were still an adult then. I was a dumb teenager. You were still an adult then. Shut up. You were 25, just to put that into some Well, I regret telling you my story now. How old were you when you were sitting? Is this just last week, the sheep one? No, it was. I was like no, 13. No, it was the sheep one. <laughs> yeah, the sheep week. one. I was but about just, 13. Just last week. I was week. in the car with my yeah, mum and yeah, dad. I'm pretty week. sure we were sure. driving to my grandma's house. Uh-huh, sure. 
I don't know why I remember that. We were in the car. It was a red, uh, a red co- a maroon Commodore. Same. Yes, but um, more than one fish is fishies. Fishies. Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> so what are you... So, so if you're ordering fish and chips, like you're getting two, two fishies. Two fishies and chips. Two fishies and chips. <laughs> Um, and I also call, sh- if it's more than one sheep, I do call them sheepies. Sheepies. I do. Look at all the sheepies. Mm, sheepies. Sheepies everywhere. I love sheep. You know when you're driving along uh, to Adelaide and there's um, there's a couple of places where there's just a bazillion sheep on the yep. side of, well, they're in a farm. Like a superfluous amount of sheep. Yes, yep. superfluous. Oh, I said the word. Yes. Anyways, the, when I was driving on Wednesday, there was a superfluous amount of sheep, and they had baby sheepies. Just on this side, you that way. They had baby sheepies. Oh yeah. And of course, ants. I'm driving along, and all of a sudden, I'm like, sheep! In Queensland, you drive past cows. I've never driven past cows in South Australia. Uh, Victoria had little where I used to live, just dairy farm everywhere. Yeah. So many cows, you just got bored with them. Like at first, you start leaning out the window, going, <laughs> but then it just like after the fourth or fifth time going past the cows, you just don't do it anymore. <laughs> really? Oh no, I wouldn't stop. So there's some <laughs> horse um, when at, when you used to take the kids to their old school. Yeah, the horse. Yeah, yeah. and I always every time. Me. I mean, it was years. Oh, I stopped once, and the kids got out. So did I. And the horse came over. Yeah. To say hello. Not sure what the owner would think about that. What? Uh, I don't think they'd mind. If you own a horse, I wonder if... I mean, I wouldn't feed them. I, the no. kids asked if we could give them carrots, like take carrots <laughs> to school one day. Yeah, right. No, no. And I was like, no, you don't feed other people's animals because you just never know. Horses might not even eat carrots. Uh, I think they do. And then I thought about ordering a salt lick online. <laughs> oh, no. But then I was again like, no, you just don't feed don't other people's animals, take Kylie. Take your own advice. <laughs> Speaking of carrots, I took one out of the fridge yesterday. Oh, they were frozen. And it was frozen. They were all frozen. Right? Yep. So then I ate one and I put the other one on my desk because I didn't want to eat it anymore because it wasn't very nice. No. And then within an hour, it was black. Yeah, they turned to like liquid. It just went black. Yep. They're not very nice after they've the, been the frozen. Fridge, the fridge froze I don't all know what carrots. our fridge, fr- fridge. I don't, it is a fridge. Our fridge. <laughs> It's a fridge because it's meant to be a fridge, but sometimes it freezes. Our fridge is old. I think we need a new fridge. We need a new fridge. Our fridge was second hand when we got it, and we've had it for about 13 years now. And it's missing shelves, and why do they put Perspex shelves in a fridge? Because it just doesn't last. When you have... Is it... Oh, is it Perspex? When you have kids. Off, girl. When you have kids, I don't think it's even the kids. They just the the plasticky stuff just wears thin and breaks. Breaks. Oh, you want some pets, do you? Did you just nose me for a pet? Oh, yes. I mean, it's obvious. It's the obvious choice for shaping shelves and things like that and making drawers, but it just doesn't last. We would, that's our second fridge too. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Uh, we the, had another one where I made a Korean shelf. Yes, so. that was a very tiny fridge. And that fridge was also secondhand from somebody else that I knew. Was it? Yes. Yeah, it was my first fridge. Hmm. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, I had it um, before I even met you. That fridge was so small. It was the size of a pizza, a frozen pizza box. But you know the ones you put it, get... The freezer ones you yeah. buy from Coles. Yeah. Yeah, that's how wide it was. I don't even remember it. Because I, I usually gauge fridges about with how tall I am. Yeah. Like, because when you're, when you're a kid, you can't reach the top of the fridge. But then gradually you can. Obviously, you're growing up, so you you can reach the top of the fridge. Okay. And I can reach the top of our fridge. Can you reach the top of our fridge? Um, I can touch the top of it, but I can't see or you find anything on top of it. You haven't quite grown up yet. No. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever quite grow up, to be honest. But the fridge is a good gauge for how how tall you are if you're yes. growing. May I have this, please? And I don't remember that fridge. What fridge? The other one you're talking about. Ah, it was only like this high. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was very small. It was a full-height fridge. No, it wasn't. I fixed the shelf inside. Anyway, you can talk about fridges later on. It wasn't. I'm pretty sure it was yeah. a, a full-height fridge. 
You didn't come with a fridge. I came with a fridge. You came with a couch. <laughs> I came with a couch. <laughs> and a TV. Did you have a TV? You did have a TV. Did you? I don't know. I don't think you came with a TV. It was the big one. There was a TV. I think you came with a TV. Couch and a and bed and one pillow. And a projector. Yeah, so the pillow thing, right? Oh my goodness. You should have asked me if you wanted one. You should have offered me a pillow. I didn't have another pillow, did I? <laughs> I thought you were happy sharing the same pillow with me. <laughs> and this is 15 years ago. 14. 14. 15. And a bit. Stop that, please. 15 years. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, come here, miss. Stop that, please. Let's get this done. That's a prime example of men not... Un not being able to read minds? No, you just don't what? think about other people. What? Are you kidding me? Come on, we've got to get this There's done. There's nothing to do with it. Baba, come on. Bella. Bella, Bella. I have to say, of all the Bellas, you're the nicest Bella to groom. So if I'm lying there asleep on my pillow and you're lying awake next to me going, I wish I had a pillow, how the hell am I supposed to know that you wanted a pillow? It's common sense. You've got pillows. I bought you every pillow that you've ever used since that first pillow. <laughs> So? Uh, you've got a snuggle blanket on the couch. Yep. Even though you that. don't sit on the couch very often, but when you do, what have you got? Your own cushion and snuggle blanket. See? You get fed every day. <laughs> Joe, when we started YouTube, I used to brag about how my husband cooks dinner every night. You yep. guys, he does not cook dinner every night anymore. Not anymore, because we don't do HelloFresh. We stopped doing HelloFresh. I'm in protest because I want HelloFresh back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You don't want HelloFresh. I don't want HelloFresh back. I do. The kids didn't enjoy it all the time. Well, you I should did, have picked the meals. But you were using way too much oil and butter and um, salt. Salt and Garlic. You're just over the top. I did not enjoy it because of the way you were cooking it. Not true. That sounds really horrible, but it's so true. Even though you bragged about it and ate every time. I did, and but you kind of progressed and you got worse over time. What? More oil, more butter, more salt, and then I would sit there and just no. be like, Ugh. So my favourite was the um, mashed potato oh. with lemon in it. Yeah. That was unreal. I just needed to get you out of the kitchen. That was so... Come here. Your battery mm. died, did it? The battery died. So Jude loves when I do this ear rubbing thing. So as I was about to say, you were adding flavours that you add to your meal after it's cooked. They're personal additions. I was following additions. the instructions. I know. But then you were like adding more and more no, and more. No, it wasn't. Yes, you were. The, the, so the Hello Fresh bag comes with all of the ingredients inside. Yes. So what was I adding? Like too much over of the, the top. same thing that was in the bag? I don't know. Anyway, I was not enjoying the meals anymore. Um, and I was ready to start again well i loved it i was missing just the basic meals like just normal plain food everything was in a, a whole adventure in the mouth that i just didn't want <laughs> does that make sense can i say that the, we were eating food that's fit for a king my mouth is like a hobbit and it doesn't want to leave the shire which is just nuts Look at the tail tucked oh, no. up between your legs. She's such a little pudding. you got to let me get this hair off this leg here, okay? Stop trying to run away from me. From the older. Yeah. Come again. It's just, um, unfortunately, pretty tightly matted in there. And she doesn't want to let me do it, so it's... Why don't you do it when she was up in the hammock? Well, I did, but as I said, you got to wash the hair and then blow dry it and fluff it all out again. Because, sorry, I just drank a Pepsi, um, and I bet. Uh, it all lays flat and smooshed down to the skin. We're a little bit um, used to you burping on camera. I know, it's terrible. So if you guys go to the live stream, I think it was number... I don't know, 17? 13? No, 15. 15 maybe. 
right at the very beginning. I was trying to get it out before the live stream started. That wasn't me. That was me. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful fur family. How are you today? Welcome back to our live. It's the biggest burp I've ever done in my life. And it's so it right, was, it's, it's memorialised. The intro, the intro stopped and then it went black, ready to go to the live stream. And then we heard, ball. <laughs> and it's then we looked so at you bad. smiling. It's so bad. I just, I was trying to do it before <laughs> then, it swapped over. And then you were looking at, looking at the camera smiling. I wonder if they heard the burp. And then it didn't, yep. so it didn't come out in time and then it was too late to do it. But I couldn't get rid of it and it just came out and I was like, oh. All right. It came out all on its own. It yeah. did. <laughs> it was just a whole kerfuffle that I wasn't ready for. Jeez, imagine if uh, people like Row with Makeovers or Grooming Safer did that I sort know. of thing. I know. Well, you know, I'm not the most mature human being. Actually, Row with Makeovers probably, would probably just do that. You reckon? Yeah. Don't know. But I know Grooming Safer wouldn't. No. Suzanne? Yeah, Suzanne. She's too much of a lady. She's a sweet pea. <clears throat> but she she live streams all day long. I know. Right. So if she needs to do a burp, what does she do? Yeah, I don't know. Does she switch her camera back and forwards and take breaks and stuff? No, no. I take breaks. I go and get myself a I've drink. never seen her take a break though. I've been watching and I've just never seen her actually take a break. I am not like under any pressure to work. <laughs> I just work at my own pace and just chill and do what I want to do. Not entirely, but oh, I'm looking at I don't rush through getting anybody groomed. In a doggy whisperer. I like hanging out with the dogs and getting to know them and building a loving and trusting relationship. And I do have dogs that just are so excited to come here. Yep. They cry and scream as they come down the driveway and they jump on drag the their owners. Oh, yes. I've got a few dogs now that jump on the table. Whiskey did it. And sometimes I don't Charlie have the table height right down. Yep. Because I just haven't got there yet. But they jump all the way oh, up. Oh, they jump and it gives me a heart attack. So this is pretty high at the moment. Yeah. Well, I don't know, is it? Yeah. Is that a high level? Yeah. Well, it's not You've the height you'd expect a dog to it jump goes on. Higher than yeah, that. sometimes when I'm not being lazy and I actually stand up and do my job. Stop. Let me round off your little. Oh, smooshy poo. Please. Please let me do it. Good girl. Well, I bought the devices so I could stand up and do my job. <laughs> You remember that? I do. That I know height, because it's still table it's thingy. up against the wall in our hallway, it's and it's been there the for wall. several years now. And I would like it to disappear. I actually got it because my back was stuffed, and it worked. Yeah. It fixed my back, and then I put it away once my back was you fixed. You didn't put it away. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's yeah. leading up against the wall. In the away. hallway. Yeah, away from you. That thing was expensive. I know. It's several hundred dollars, I believe. But that's okay because. Uh, You've got to do what you're going to do. I should use it again. Yeah. You've been complaining of a sore back of late. No, I haven't. You have. I have. I have a sore back. What did you do? You slipped I, on a piece of rubbish did, that the kids I left. I slipped on, the... on a piece of plastic that was left on the floor. That hurt my back. And then I de shed so many dogs. But you hurt your back week. up here. Yeah. No, Not down my there. Nerve. It's kind of all over now. I de shed a whole bunch of very large breed dogs yep. this week, and um, and I had to lift or wrangle quite a few of them and now you have I'm, been using your i have been using the ramp the ramp thingy which i'm loving um but there's quite a few dogs that just won't walk anywhere they just put the brakes on and turn into a puddle on the floor and i had to pick them up and it's not being very pleasant for my back look how she's standing she's unsure but she's trying to like just trust that i'll do the right thing by her yeah So she's ready to leave. She's got one yeah. foot out the door, so but she's like, go. I'll stand still, but I'm ready to go if, if I don't like it. <laughs> Look how much better she is though, compared to when she came in. Yeah. I took a little video she's on my phone. Way more that comfortable you have to now. Add in there. 
somewhere. It well, is so going to be chunky because, because she had. Because she had. Sorry, uh, I'll send it to you. She had love grass in here, so it is going to be um, quite chunky and not a smooth shape cut. But that's all right. It's clean and tidy. That's all we're. It'll soften when it grows out. Yeah. Now let's have a look at your back legs, which were the ones I was worried about with you. You let me have a look at them back legs. You are so lovely. You are just so lovely. Yes, you are. I'm in love. I love you, little pony. Yes, I do. You don't even cuddle me like that. Um, it'd be weird if I did. Give me a kiss on the forehead. I do give you kisses on the forehead. You're just not paying any attention to me when I do it. Where are we going? <laughs> what is she doing? Is she just kind of edging closer? Little by little? What are you doing? So you're still watching Good Doctor? I am. I'm nearly finished. Okay. I'm on the last season now. I thought I was on the last season and then I found two more seasons on You've a You've been watching that for 10 side. years now. It feels like I've been watching it for 10 years now. I'm ready for it to be over. Yeah, so am I. Why? How but then you're just going to go on to the next thing anyway. Yes. What's next? Okay, so there is more TV series that I want to watch, but I've decided I'm going to go back to ebooks. Yep. And do my cross stitch. I was going to watch movies in cross stitch, but I couldn't do both at the same time. Yeah, because you, you got one. You're supposed to actually look at the yeah. at the videos or movies you watch. Yeah. So I'm going to do ebook because I've got four books on my Amazon Prime. Like I can't work and watch a movie at the same time because I end up just watching the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's very difficult to tidy up such short little Hairs. There is a movie that I can watch and work at the same oh, time, though. Yeah, the one that you watch and work at the same time all the time. The Edge of Tomorrow. Which one is that? Is that where? Um, That's the Tom, Tom Cruise yeah, one. Yeah, and he's got to kill the whole thing. Where he keeps getting killed over and over again. That is a good movie. And then he has to save the world from aliens. That is a very good movie. And Tom Cruise is my favourite. I'm not a Tom Cruise fan. I know that. You said that before and I don't want to hear it. But I do like that movie. Do you like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Um, no. I don't enjoy the videos or the movies that he makes most of the time. Well, there's something wrong with you. I, okay, like, yes, but no. <laughs> I know, I get it. I don't dislike him as a person or anything like that. The, this, his movies are not the type that I enjoy. And, well, you wouldn't like Sylvester Stallone either. Uh, okay. We did Rambo. I've never watched Rambo. I have watched all the Rocky movies. Uh, but yeah, right. yeah, I wouldn't go out of my way to see a Sylvester Sloan movie either. <laughs> what about Bruce Willis? Uh, yes, he's got more action kind of movies that is in my style that I like. Yeah, well, they have a movie, The Expendables, where they're all in it together. Yeah, right. Well, I, will, I would watch it and see how it is. You're not allowed to. Oh, why? Because you don't like them. Oh, is it an action movie? Yep. I don't know. I can't answer the question. But Bruce Willis apparently has been diagnosed with, um, uh, is it Parkinson's? Oh, really? That's a rough... Oh, no. Um, oh, I'm not sure. A, a mental condition which is ailing him. Mm, not good. Possibly. I can't remember what it is. Dementia? Yes, it is dementia. I had a lady ring me the other day. Yeah. Um, sorry, just a slight topic change. Slight She's, topic change. She was trying okay. to book an appointment and she said, I'm just having a really hard time booking an appointment because I have dementia. There's a little tuft under there. She says, I have dementia and I have to go to the dementia ward because I live on my own, but they're making me, they're trying to kick me out of my house and make me live in a home. And so I have to go to these dementia appointments to prove that I can still live on my own. Yeah. And she goes, but I can't remember when my appointment is or where it is. And so now I can't remember when I have time to book an appointment for the dog. <laughs> 
She was all confused. I said, that's okay. Well, you just get your diary out or your calendar and I'll help you. And so we went through all of it, her whole calendar. I was on the phone trip for about half an hour. Helping her with her calendar. <laughs> yeah, just trying to work out where she had to be. Because she didn't know what the date was on the day that I was speaking to her. And she yeah. didn't know if it was morning or night time. And she was getting very confused. She and needs a phone. She has a phone. The internet tells you all of those things. She has a phone. But she, yeah, she was just very confused. And so we went through everything. And then um, I ended up <coughs> helping her to know when she had to go to her other appointments. And then so I've booked her dog grooming appointment. And I've set up an automatic text message every day until the appointment. Oh, cool. So that she just she can keep it in her mind and not get confused about it. So each <laughs> message says it's not today. Yeah, it's, it's pretty not much. Today. It just it's says, not today. And then um, one day it's going to go, it's today. It goes down. It goes, <laughs> this is a reminder, your appointment is in four days. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, good. Oh, so, that's good. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Sweet little love. She said, you are very nice. And so I said, oh, it's not nice when you get, I'm forgetful. I forget everything. That's the sort of person that would get scammed. The lady? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We've got to look after the people in the community that are um, at risk like that. Absolutely. So, guys, if you're at home and if anyone ever rings you and tells you that you've got money owing to you or anything like that... It's always a scam. It's a scam. It never, ever is true. Let me do this real quick. But if anybody rings you and you're unsure, just say to them, um, I'm going to hang up and call my bank, phone provider, internet provider, it doesn't matter. I'm going to call them on their... Um, Use the number that you have. On their on, on the numbers that they've provided to me and I'll speak to somebody and... about my account. The person on the phone is not the only person that can help you if it is legitimate. Always hang up and then call the numbers that are official on, and on your For me, it's usually bills. the accent gives it away. Unfortunately, yes. <clears throat> I don't like to do um, racial profiling, but that one is, <clears throat> in Australia at least, 100%. It's, that's all we get. All right, Bella. Wow, you're what do you guys so reckon? Cute. I have had a look at her nails and they are Ooh. not long at all. She's probably running around outside on concrete a lot of the time. Oh. And wearing down those nails. She's so her cute. Little ears and little white out if she lets Yeah, me. give her a clean. Oh, there you go. So Jude's going to be extremely jealous. Hang on. I'm going to get the smell of her all over my arm and stuff like that. You're so freaking her out. He ends, up, he ends up sniffing just like... Oh, yeah. He comes up... So, he like, buries his head in and then he's like... <laughs> he just sits there, right? just sniffing. He doesn't move. Good girl, Bella. Oh, you're so cute. Can you pick her up and... I'm going to, And give yeah. her a cuddle and say goodbye to She's everybody? She's earned a big old cuddle. You've earned a big old cuddle, haven't you? Come here. No collar. Do you have a collar to give her or no? No. I, it'll well, only end toy. up battered anyway. She can have so. a toy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The sweet baby. You're such a sweet baby. Oh, oh thank kisses. you. <laughs> I love you. Yes, I do. You got smelly dog breath though. Huh? Can I give you a kiss? Can I give you a kiss before you go home? All right, my beautiful fur family. Thank you so much for watching. I didn't cry. I'm proud of myself. I didn't cry. Nothing wrong with crying. <laughs> and we have a happy doggy who's all clean and tidy. So if you uh, can, hit the subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, give us a thumbs up and like this video because it really helps us. And comment. And say hello in the comments. And say share. hi to Bella. Say hello to husband so he knows everybody loves him because yeah. he's a needy man. Um, yeah, wherever you're doing, wherever you're doing, wherever you are, and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic time of day, and we'll see you soon. Hi. Bye. Hello. Hello. Just gonna hang out there for a bit, hey Bella. I've got your toy. Did you give her a toy? Yep. Oh, Humphrey. And we got Humphrey. Humphrey. Hello, Humphrey. Humphrey's a nervous Nelly, even though he's been yeah. here a bazillion times. He's been here a billion times. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's got no tail. He's got a short tail and he gets very nervous about his little bum bums. Anyway, you've already said goodbye, so we're not really here. Okay, but look at his little tail. Okay, that's oh, it. Oh, so he's got no tail? Yeah, he's got no tail. Ah, been docked. Yeah, I don't know why, but... Must have got trapped in a doorway or something. Could have. All right, bye. bye.